Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Welcome to the noisy hell hole that is the home, which has been my work, my office, my life for the last sort of two weeks. Shave for today, face shave. Captain Fawcett's shaving soap, really nice scent. Nice, crisp, clean, herbal, soapy scent. It's really nice. Triple milled soap. I have been soaking it since my head shave, which I just did. That is what the soap looks like in the tub, in the wooden bowl that it comes in. It's going to last you a long time if you grab one. And to be honest with you, it's, it's a soap that I recommend. I think it's a great soap. It's good quality. It's not artisan quality, but it's good. Now the brush. Is my, that darn Rob again. 28mm rhodium knot. I love this brush and I think, I'm fingers crossed, I've got a funny feeling that I might have cured or got beyond the shedding stage. So here we go. It may make a liar out of me straight away. I don't know why I'm so confident. What I've done is I've basically tackled this brush every day with the comb and Just dip the tips just to soften the tips up so I'm not damaging them. And I've worked on it as I did with the Morrison Fondren and the Simpson. It didn't work with the Morrison Fondren and the Simpson, but it, I don't know whether it's worked with this, but I've got a funny feeling I might finally be in a good place with this knot in terms of not losing any hairs. One hair shave I can live with. I'm happy with that. Well, see, I'm happy with it. Nobody's ever really happy losing hairs out of the brush. But I can live with that comfortably. But losing more than one starts to sort of, it does annoy you a little bit, it gets to you. No matter what, especially given the, the history I've got with hand tied knots. Now, I've been loading that now for way longer than it needs to be. But already I can see that there are no hairs sticking out. It's a good start. I'm just going to wet my face a little bit. what's left in this bowl under my face and I'm just going to rinse it under the water. It rinses off really easily this soap because it's quite a it's quite an airy sort of lather consistency that comes out from it. I'm just going to sit that to the side and let it dry off a little bit and here we go. It's a very nice, calming scent. Oh, I tell you, I'm, I'm actually a little bit excited because I do honestly feel like I might have sort of broken the back of this knot. Just gonna dip my tip. So as you can see, nothing has come out so far. That painting motion is the thing that normally gets me. So as such, I'm going to overemphasize it in this shave. One here, oh, I'm going to be happy with one here. So far, no hairs. I'm very tired today, so please bear with me. You get me as I am generally. Normally I sort of push through and try to be a little bit cheery. It's not my disp disposition to be cheery, it's just not me. Normally I'm quite a negative, boring shit type of guy, really.
Right. There's no hairs whatsoever, nothing sticking up there that's giving me any fear. I'm going to scoot that little bit on there and then I'm going to splay the brush. Still no hairs. I keep looking now because obviously the issues I've been having. Still no hairs. Like I say, I was feeling confident. Actually, a little bit dry. That's a stunning ladder from a really good soap from an exceptional brush which hasn't shed a single hair. Whew. Like I say, I was confident. I'm still confident. I'm hoping I can get through the whole shade without losing any. The carved Christopher Bradley razor in stainless steel with the B plate and a second use Gillette Nasset blade. Oh, I'd probably say that feels smoother than the, the Astra, not the Astra, the Derby. I'll be extra. Well, oh. yeah, it's definitely smoother. But that Astra is incredible for what it is in the cost of them. They're way cheaper than buying Nasset. It's another blade. I shaved yesterday with the uh, leaf razor. Got about 26 hours growth, roughly. I just want to highlight that the shave I had with the leaf was one of the best shaves I've had for a while in terms of potion. Look how slick that is. That is one slick, slick soap. Like I say, you can get away with this with a dry lather, or a wet lather. It will look after you no matter what really. It's a very, very good quality soap. It's triple milled. It will last you a long time. Nice light touch. The 
just heard today. The car will be releasing the titanium razor on the 1st of May. And I feel one that way. I honestly believe that will be the pinnacle of double edged razors. I'm so happy that recently I was able to use a Wolfman kindly sent over from Serge and from Rhodium Knox to try out and found that it was a pretty average shaver so it's no longer on my list of I want a Wolfman I'm glad I've used one but there's no way I would buy one now people have told me that the WR2 is a better shaver and I've been reading reviews on that as well and I've even read reviews saying that that's just as rough it's a WR1. Works of art. Let's fish a lot. Still haven't lost the hair. Cross the grain of the way. Isn't it funny how as you get older? I'm only 36, just turned 36 last month. Is it April yet? Last month, it's 8th of April, I don't even know what week month is. I've obviously lost a lot here in my head. I'm starting to get hair growing in places that I've never had. Like, the top of my nose gets fucking hairy now. You've got to sh like, pluck your nose, shave your eyebrows, fucking shave your ears, shave up your nose. It's a freaking nightmare. It really is. You need to be a... I'm really starting to get a feel for against the grain shaving and I'm really realising now Having watched Paul H, and I actually been watching Paul H really closely of late with his against the grain technique, it barely touches his skin. It doesn't actually, I did a Paul H duck and dive there. It doesn't really put any pressure onto it whatsoever. I mean, that's BBS, yeah, that's wonderful. I think prior when I've been having issues, I've been just pushing too hard and not got quite the right angle. Inverting the raisin and turning it upside down and back to front and coming against the grain is not as intuitive as you would think. It's good stuff. Very slick. I can't get off my hands now. Doing that bit there, I'm barely even holding the razor, it's actually that's how loose it is in my fingers. Super duper.
Oh, I mean. Now, I just realised today when I did this video <laughs> that my unboxing and my first shave with the Stallion Straight Razor, the Gold Dollar 100, never actually went online. We have changed the process of monetizing videos and it's called self self reviewing or something. So I've got to go in there and see if there's no issues with the video, if it's safe to watch. That sort of thing. So it takes a little bit longer and you've got to actually do it. If you forget and you think you've uploaded it and you haven't really. So I've worked through them, got them up and running. This is the bit where I think I might lose some hairs, but we shall see. I don't know why I'm so confident, but I am. I've never felt like this with a Simpson or the Morrison Fondue. I have spent quite a bit of time with this brush. Right, I've wet it, I've scrubbed it out, I've got all the, all the soap out, and there is my first hair. One hair, just from the... See that? Just from the heavy flicking, I think that's what's popped that one out. So let me, like I say, one ear I'm happy with. I'm not interested in losing one ear, it doesn't bother me at all. I think generally with a hand tied knot, she's going to lose a hair. Most shaves. I'm not going to change my routine, I'm sticking to what I do because every other brush that I use, I don't have any issues doing this. It's a very, very densely, dense, tightly packed knot with a lot of hair in it. Now, like I say, I'm, I'm confident, but I've been working on it for the past few days. It might need a little bit more, it might need another week or so of working on it and just combing it out and just sort of just rubbing it on my hand, trying to get all, all the loose fibres out, all the loose ones, anything that's loose or too short and it's just been held in with the, the density of the knot. Right, so I've just taken that straight off and there's nothing... There's actually quite a bit of soap left in there. Can you hear that? So I need to wet it again. I don't like leaving any soap, especially in this knot. That's a cracking shade, man, I tell you what. So we're still at one here. I'm just gonna dry a bit of towel. I know this is time consuming, I don't have to do it on video. But I just like to show everyone. Because I'm sure there'll be questions out there saying, well, why do I want to buy a rodeo knot if it sheds lots of hairs? It doesn't shed lots. It's a very densely, tightly packed knot. And it's you're gonna lose some hairs from your brushes. Yes, yeah, so there's number two. So two hairs. It's better than what I've been getting. I've been getting sort of three every single shave. So I'm down to two and maybe I've overworked at the end, I don't know. But two. Still full of soap. Still quite a bit of soap in there. The back of myself. All right, I'm back. I've just rinsed it out again, towed it again, and I haven't lost any further hairs from it. So two hairs over the course of the whole shave. I didn't actually lose a hair during the shave, which is the first time I think since I got this brush. I haven't lost a hair during the shave, so it seems to be my post-shave routine of flicking it and stuff like that that's loosening hairs out. I might alter it a little bit just for this knot, but I don't really want to. I want to use the brush the way I've always used brushes and I've never had any issues. And let's say, you're going to lose a hair every now and then from a hand-tied knot. It can't, you can't not lose a hair from a hand-tied knot. It's going to happen uh, unless you've one of the lucky ones that gets a cracker. Captain Fawcett's shaving soap, cracking soap, works very, very well. As you can see there, that's a little, I kept that, it just sits inside on top of the soap. Number one, use a traditional shaving brush, wet the brush with warm water, employ a brush in a stirring and churing motion 
over the soap to, to create a luxuriant thick lather, apply a lather to beard to lift and soften the hair, enjoy your shave. Beautiful. And that's literally what you do with this stuff. It's really good stuff, works very well. The brush, it's my that darn rob, 28mm rhodium knot. It is a beautiful knot. It smells fantastic, it really does. And the handle is a stunner. Carved Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate and a second use Nasset blade, as smooth as you like. My skin feels great. Poche feel is excellent, really moisturised. But I am going to finish off as I have done for the past every single shave with AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentration Serum. Concentrate Serum. So, what I'm going to do is just wet my hands with a little bit of cold water. One pump. And here we go. Beautiful, simple as that. And with that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.